What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to add decimals and fractions together, right? And it's actually not too bad. So the trick to this is either turning both of these numbers into decimals or turning them both into fractions, okay? And it's actually normally easier to just turn them both into decimals, All right? So here 5.69 this is already a decimal. So all we have to do is turn this fraction into a decimal, okay? So how do you turn a fraction into a decimal? Well, remember, fractions are the same thing as division problems, right? So 15 over 6, that's the same thing as 15 divided by 6, okay? Or in other words, I can write it like this, 15 divided by 6, okay? So let's solve this division problem. Now, 6 goes into 15 how many times? Two times, right? And then 2 times 6 is 12, and then we'll subtract right here. 15 minus 12 is 3. And then we don't have anything over here, so we'll put a zero and bring that straight down right there. Okay, now six goes into 30 how many times? Five times, right? And then five times six is 30. So you just subtract right there, and then 30 minus 30 is just zero. So we have no remainder. Now, 25 is not our answer, okay? Because we're missing our decimal. So where does the decimal go? So if you look down here, we had the number 15, right? Decimals always come at the end of whole numbers. So if our whole number is 15, that means our decimal goes right there, okay? So then all you have to do is bring this decimal straight up to your answer right there. So your answer right here would be 2.5. So 15 over six as a decimal would be 2.5, okay? So I'm gonna take out this 15 over six and I'm gonna replace it with 2.5. So now this problem's a little easier to work with, right? Because now they're both in decimal form. So now we just have to add up these two decimals together. So I'm going to add them up. And remember, when you add decimals together, just write one number over the other and make sure their decimals are aligned. So I'm going to write it like this. So 5.69 plus 2.5. Okay, so you can see I lined up their decimals, right? And all the other numbers are lined up too. So now that they're lined up properly, now we can add these. So 9 plus nothing is just 9. And then here we have 6 plus 5, which is 11. So we'll put a 1 there and carry the other one up there. And then here we have 5 plus 2, which is 7. And then 7 plus 1 is 8, right? And then last thing we have to do is just bring our decimal down. So your decimal's right here. It's right here, so just bring it straight down right there. Okay, so then this would be your answer right here, 8.19. We'll write it up here, 8.19. All right, guys, so that is how you add decimals and fractions together. Just make sure you convert either both of your numbers to decimals or both of them to fractions, okay? So I hope the example was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's also a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out. And I'll see you there.